In this video, I'm going to show you how to how to work on a floor plan and in this floor plan what we're going to do is we're going to extrude the walls so that uh, you can show a good representation of a house plan uh, in 3D. So anyway, my graphics area is white here. I made it white because I'm going to insert a reference image. So you click on insert uh, reference image and I'm going to get my image which is this one and click open. So in here uh, I'm just going to make my insertion point to 0, 0, 0 which is the origin which is will be, it will insert here and scale factor that's fine I can make it 1 and I'll click OK. So you notice here that the image is uh, is transparent. So what I did, I made it transparent first, so that it's easier for me to to trace the uh, the image. I mean the floor plan. Okay. So now now I'm going to use the rectangle tool to trace the 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 walls. Okay. So for example here I'm going to start with this wall here. I click on my rectangular tool and I'm going to make my walls. Okay. Uh, if you want to do repeat the last command, you just have to right mouse click and click on repeat rectangle rectangle. So that's my rectangle tool. Right mouse click really uh, uh, choose that. Repeat rectangle. Now it doesn't matter if it's, it intersects like that. That's fine because when you when we extrude that, it's going to be one whole piece. Okay. So right mouse click. Just um, make this shorter. Mouse click. Okay. So, so you get the idea. So what I'll do now, I'm just going to speed up the video, okay, so that I could, we could see how it looks like once it's extruded. So I'm going to make the video faster now. Okay, so now we have the we have the walls ready. Uh, we made the walls ready. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on View and click on 3D Views and click on Isometric SW Isometric, and we have this view. Right? So now we go to uh, Solids Draw and click on Extrude. And in the command window it says specify the entities. So I'm just going to create a window to select all the walls. And I hit enter. So once I hit enter, it will ask you what is the height. So I'm going to make it, since we're not really doing measurements here, we're just going to visually see what's the height of the wall. So I'm just going to click there and everything is. See, it's very nice. So it's it's one click, and you have a floor plan ready of a house. Now you can also go to view and click on hide to hide the the uh, intersections or the lines. Now you can you can orbit this. So click on view, constrained orbit to look around or to study the 
uh, the the model. So those are rooms. And it's also a good idea to go to tools and render the render render the uh, the object or the the drawing. So you click on product here, and let's see how it looks like. There, I can see it right now. There, so you click on this one to click on uh, to make it fit to model, and there. So now I can see, I can study the, the floor plan. Like if there are people who are who can't really visualize it, um, a floor plan, you can show them this 3D view of your of the house or the office or whatever plan. And I also found out that they uh, this one has a animation option. So you click on camera animation and click on turntable and it will actually show the animation that it rotates here and once you click on it it would stop. It's very nice. Very nice representation. <laughs> 